Hey everybody, it's JC from Jasmine's Cuisine. Okay, first let's clean our chicken. You want to take some water and just rinse it off really good. Go ahead and work your hands in there. Then you want to go ahead and drain all of the water off. And you can add vinegar in the process and let it sit for 30 minutes before pouring it all out. Then I just rinse it off again, you know, that's just what I do. So if you want to make the chicken look like this, we're going to go ahead and season it first with some Creole seasoning. Applewood seasoning next, you want to use all of that. Garlic powder. Uh-huh, sure is. Onion powder. Everybody uses this. And paprika. Usually I go crazy on this, but y'all, I didn't have enough onion powder, so yeah, I used what I could. You ain't cooking until you really put your, your mouth balled up. Ball it up. Then you want to put some pepper. I'm not a pepper person, but I just did for the cosmetic. Then you want to put some adobo goya. I use a blue top, less salt. Mm-hmm. And my favorite, chicken bouillon. Okay, next. Now, we gon' dance. Now, take your gloves and put them on, and you just want to stir your chicken until it looks red. Reddish orange. That's just me. So... I like to show my workstation because if you ever eat from my house or eat from my restaurant, this is what it looks like. Now, we're going to take a piece of chicken, put it in the flour that I have seasoned. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't post the season of the stuff that I dab in the flour, but yeah. So, I use garlic and onion powder and chicken bouillon and paprika. Look how that look, y'all. Look how wonderful that looks. Oh, my gosh. Now, watch this. Ooh-wee. I don't know about you, y'all. This look good. You can eat it like that or eat it like this. Or call me up and I'll fix it like that. Dip, baby, dip. All right, y'all.